take a look around. It's raining right now, and I'm not doing a single thing to harvest it. Stick around for the next few minutes, and I'll tell you very briefly what I'm going to do to change that, and you might be convinced to do the same for your household. Well, for starters, I live in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. That's in USDA cold hardiness zone 5A. It's not as much rain as Ireland would get, for example, but we get our fair share, particularly in the spring. As the old saying goes, April showers bring May flowers. But in the summer months, temperatures can range up into the 90s for a prolonged period of time. I was sitting up on my balcony one evening, looking out over my garden, admiring my neighbor's double rain barrel system when I got to thinking, why am I not doing this for my household? And that made me curious, so I did a little bit of research and I found out a few things that are so obvious, but I just never thought about them. First off, rainwater is maybe better for the garden plants because it doesn't have any of the salts or inorganic ions or fluoride compounds contained in regular tap water. I don't necessarily know how much of a difference that makes, but if you're concerned about being as organic as possible, then rainwater is a good solution if properly filtered. Harvesting rainwater is a great money saver too. Did you know that one inch of rainfall on a 2,000 square foot roof is the equivalent of 1,250 gallons of water? Just imagine how many fruits and vegetables and flowers you can grow with all of that, and how much it would save on the average water bill. From a city management environmental perspective, harvesting your rainwater is a great way to reduce the risk of flooding and soil erosion and also reducing groundwater contamination. According to the Environmental Protection Agency, stormwater runoff is a significant source of groundwater pollution because of the contaminants like oil and other industrial waste, chemicals, bacteria, and pesticides that are washed directly into lakes, rivers, and other water supplies as rain washes over the streets, sidewalks, and other soil surfaces. For a long time, I thought it was pointless for me to try to save rainwater because my garden was so far away from my house. But after a little bit of critical thinking, I realized if I mount my rain barrel a little bit higher and I bury a hose and I slope it down towards the garden, I can mount a spigot right in the fence in the garden and have the rainwater right where I need it whenever I need. It's so simple, I wish I would have just thought about it critically from a different perspective before. Throughout the rest of this summer, I'm going to transform this overgrown, unused space into a rainwater collection system capable of holding up to 110 gallons of rainwater. I checked my city website first for zoning regulations, and while I was there, I found a bunch of resources from our university extension on how to build a rain barrel. So what kind of water conservation do you do? Let us know in the comments section below. While you're here, I hope you'll subscribe to HGMM and then check out my page, Midwest Man Mountain Home and Garden DIY, where you can follow my own journey to be a better water conserver. So until next time, happy gardening, and thanks for saving water. Thank you.